So it's just a quick reminder not to ever overspend when um, you're looking for one of these uh, old vintage used Polaroid cameras. Uh, uh, this is a good example that I just found this one at the thrift store yesterday and that is uh, that was uh, August 24th of 2018 and you can still find this one some thrift stores especially go to if you go to thrift stores very often you can find it for a really good price I found this one for three bucks I go to thrift stores very often I usually find them for like uh, 10 or 15 dollar range so there's still some out there you just have to find them uh, but um, I've been seeing some posts on eBay of people that are selling them for like a hundred or like eighty dollars for this kind of old vintage used Polaroid cameras that have been around for a long time and the thing is that you don't know if they're gonna work and even if they've been tested you don't know if they're gonna work in the long term so if you're in the hunt or you're looking for uh, one of these old cameras I really recommend that you go to, to thrift stores to garage sales very often and see if you can find one so I wanted to make this video just to show you a few things that you should look for when you find one of these cam old cameras on, on the thrift stores uh, just to see if it will work or not uh, the best thing to do is uh, if you're in the thrift store if you have an old um, uh, cassette from either the Polaroid Originals or an uh, Impossible Project you can use this one, uh, one of the old ones without film to see if it will power on and in this case I found this one at the thrift store, I didn't have one with me the one inside well, had an old cartridge inside but was completely empty it also didn't have any battery left in the, uh, with it so it didn't power up or it didn't do anything when I put it on so I could not test it to see if it would work at the store but for three dollars I just decided to uh, take the gamble and buy it and see if it will work at home uh, there's a few other things that you can take a look especially when you open it here you can see if there's a lot of corrosion there's a few things that are not moving well or is there it just looks like it's really beat up or it has been used a long uh, many times in the past in this case this one was a little bit dirty I cleaned it up a little bit uh, in here especially in this section right here but essentially the mechanisms uh, looked okay I did clean up the rollers a little bit to see if it will work and uh, uh, you also want to take a look at the metal portions right here to see if there's more uh, if there's if they're clean or if there's any corrosion um, uh, just so that there are a few hints here and there that will tell you if the camera will work or not this is one of the more common cameras that you find out there at thrift stores I found, I found so many of these ones at uh, the stores or at uh, garage sales it's the classic Polaroid camera with uh, the flash up here with um, uh, the viewfinder and uh, the gray color this is one of the most common ones that you find out there and they're usually pretty good cameras I've had really good luck with these ones so I just wanted to make this video to see if it will work. I don't know if this one will work or not. So I have a used uh, cartridge right here. I just wanted to give it a quick test to see if it will at least power up. Uh, this is an old uh, Polaroid original cartridge and it does make noise. Uh, so it looks like it's going to work. Uh, I don't know. Um, um, it looks like the flash powered up, which is good. Let's see if it will take a picture. And it does. So everything seems okay, but again, uh, you never, you will not know un unless you put some uh, actual photos. You actually take some photos inside uh, in, in the in the cartridge. So ideally, you will have some old pictures or some some old um, uh, prints from the Polaroid um, that, that fit this size. You, you can also put them in here. You can put it back into the cartridge and see if they will actually eject with the ejection mechanism and see will they will come out of course you won't be able to see anything in the photos because they will already be used but you can try it out in my case I don't have any with me so I'm just gonna risk it and I'm gonna try out to see if it will work this will be my very first episode of um, this uh, video series of uh, will it work of uh, some uh, thrift store finds and I have with me uh, Polaroid Originals brand new <laughs> Uh, film cartridge that I just got from Target of all places. They're already selling this uh, Polaroid original fil uh, film cartridges. And I found this one on clearance. I could not believe it. They, you can rarely find this one on sale. Uh, I only paid $5.68 for this one. So I actually ended up buying all of the ones that they had in the store, which was only three of them but for six bucks. Uh, usually this one sells for I think $18 or $19. This is the color version of the new. Polaroid, Polaroid original film cartridges and this is not really that old this is from this was manufactured last year in November 2017 so yeah I'm gonna take a risk and see if they will work or not um, so far everything's telling me that it does work uh, and if it doesn't then I may lose um, at least two pictures in this uh, from this cartridge because 
uh, you lose one, uh, or I guess uh, you lose one when you t uh, try to take a picture, and you lose another one when you take it out and you put it into another camera. So we will find out together to see if they will work or not. Let's see, let's put it in. I did have some trouble putting in uh, the older, the newer cartridge into this one. As you can see, it made a really loud noise when I put it in. I think it has something to do with the actual uh, uh, mechanical parts of the, of, the, of the camera inside. And it did spit out the, the blank page. <laughs> so that's a good sign, even though it still has, um, I would say, some, uh, some signs of wear. I would say about this camera. Let's take out the old sticker. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it out for a quick walk outside the studio. I'm gonna take some quick test shots and uh, we'll see if it works. At least, at least this one powered up, so that's a good sign. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just came back from um, just outside the studio and I took just uh, two pictures using this um, old camera with the new film from Polaroid Originals. And I gotta say, I think I got lucky with this uh, old camera. I think it does work. Um, I took a couple of pictures, like I said, uh, one with flash and the second one I took it without flash. This is the first one. I think it may still be developing a little bit because of some of the colors are still a little bit uh, dark. Uh, but either way, I think it looks great. I think it works just fine. Uh, it does have a little bit of the imperfections here in the edges of the, of the frame as well as here as well. Uh, but I think that's normal. I think a lot of the, the old Polaroid cameras will do that. I think that's one of the reasons why people like uh, shooting the Polaroid cameras and the Polaroid photos because they're not perfect. Um, they're not perfect uh, pictures of what you see outside. Uh, they do give you that vintage look and that uh, nostalgia uh, effect. Uh, it definitely applies in this kind of pictures. Uh, so I, I did get a couple of those imperfections here uh, and right here as well, but that didn't happen in the second picture that I took, which is this one. I took this one with that flash. Uh, again, nothing uh, too artistic in these two photos, but um, it, it just proves that the camera still works. Um, it's a bright sunny day outside, so I had plenty of light to shoot on this one. And I didn't, I didn't, I did get a little bit of the imperfections right here. I'm not, you'll see it in the scans later in the video. But overall, I think I'm, um, I really got lucky. I'm gonna say that this camera does work. Uh, it works really well. So I'm really happy. I'm gonna try to shoot more with uh, this camera during this weekend. Uh, really good camera, especially for just paying three dollars. And again, I'll just have to say it again, and again, because uh, I really recommend that you don't pay too much for this kind of older, vintage, used cameras. Again, if they've been even if they've been tested, you you can find them out there. It's 2018, you can still find them out there. You just got to be patient and find a good one for a really good price. Uh, anyways, let me know if you have any questions. Um, uh, I look forward to making some more of these videos of, uh, of um, vintage or used equipment that will work or not. Uh, thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.